Welcome back. Round two here. I'm Colin Woods, TCGplayer.com. We are traversing the frog. Jund traverse the open wall, dot deck, as you can see here. Ooh, this is actually a pretty solid hand. We're going to grab a forest with uh, Evolving Wilds, and then we're going to go off. Going off is a little strong, but I'm just going to say it. We're going off anyway. <laughs> Whoa! Aggressive. Thank gosh we have one drops. I guess actually, yeah, I probably want to shuffle away after this. There's usually more than one good thing in the pile. Um. Wow, I whiffed? Wow. I only have 13 cards, I think, in my deck that don't get it. Let me think. I have four O's, four Traverse, two Ruin, two Ruinous Path, two Colgan's Command, and one Pulse. Yes, yeah, so I have 13 misses. Wow. That is hecka unlucky. Hecka, hecka, hecka unlucky. A little bummed out now. Should I get a map? I think I have to get a Swamp here. Part of me wants to grab a mountain for this Pia, but I can grab a mountain with uh, Traverse if I have to. I can't believe I whiffed. I don't know the actual odds of that, but it's got to be. I've got that anyway. This guy's got Menace, so I can't block him. I'm just playing this to eat a burn spell maze, basically, and get a creature in my yard for Delirium. Oh, he did not have a dragon. So that's good for me. This card's going to ruin his day, I feel like. I don't actually know how I want to block. Uh, I could just... Throw two one ones. Wait, he revealed Abbott. I could take two damage, maybe. Yes. Alarm. Ring a ding 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 ding. -ding. What? Come on, man. I just stopped this play. What did he hit? Goblin Glory Chaser? Ring a ding 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 dong. Fiery impulse, okay. I still can block either of your creatures, and I will. You've got to be casting this, I imagine. Also, this thing's going to flip back, so it's not nearly as scary. Oh, I see what you're going to do. Yeah, I mean, I'll still, I'll still make this trade. It's a little awkward, but I'd rather just not take the two damage. Uh, that's also slightly awkward. We're gonna play this. I guess I don't want to really traverse. I'm not gonna get anything out of it. Man, I just take a bunch. Get another Abbott. Thanks. What's going on? Abbots for days. We got two cards in the end. If we just draw like a Pulse or a Kalidus, we should be fine. Which is the only reason I'm holding this Traverse because it doesn't really do anything for us. We take like six here, which is a lot. But he's only got two cards in the end. Then we're going to play Gitrog Monster. Oh, he's got a. Okay, we take ten. Then we're dead if we take ten. So we have to draw something sweet. Uh, 
does not count. Alright. We have good sideboard against this style deck, though. Who Cedric the Master? Alright, out goes World Breaker. Out goes this thing. Out goes that thing. Out. Alright. That gives us five cards. Income two, Kulitas. Income three, Radiant Flames for sure. Um, oh, I need the Minister of Pain, obviously. So that's probably this card comes out for Minister of Pain. Could see cutting the Gitrog monster as well, although there's not a lot here that I really want to add over it. I could add uh, another Dark Dwellers. I guess that's not the worst. If he cast, yeah, he's probably better. All right, that looks good to me. Booked. Let's go to game two. All right, welcome back to game two of round two here. I'm Conley Woods. It's TCGPlayer.com. Playing some Traverse the Frog. That's what I am uh, affectionately deeming it. Um, this hand is pretty sweet. We have multiple removal spells in Cletus. We should. I would be extremely surprised if we lost this game. Even if thing flips, it's like not a big deal. <laughs> Alright, so I'm probably just going to kill that and make him discard a card. Get a little card advantage out of this, make him commit some more things to the board before Radiant Flames. More specifically, though, I want to get Kalidus down before I cast the Radiant Flames, so that way I can get a bunch of tutus. Early on, like this, um, we got a Looming Spires out of his hand, it's not the worst. Abbott into land. Nope. Nice. Play that so I don't take a damage. Next turn I get the Radiant Flames. Get a Sorcery in the yard, which is big. Um, kill multiple creatures, get multiple tutus. Hopefully, is the plan. Obviously, Cletus can die. He's got to use two two little spells to do that, probably. Maybe a Roast. I could see Lightning Axe too. Some decks will play Lightning Axe. No blocks, my friend. Nice. So we get to kill two of his guys and get two zombies this turn. Living the good life, you know? I'm going to have to do this for two. I'm going to do it for three just because send, send a message. Like I said, this game, I can't imagine him. Like, we have seven power in play, three of which is life-linking. Life we have Traverse still. We have Dead Protector to return one of those cards. And he's hitting Zergo. Zergo. Where you go, Zergo. Uh, this flips for two. It does. This is where I attack to see if he knows how to read the cards. Okay, he read the cards. I'll give him that. Counting days. 
where we have my friend we're playing a draconic war and we're targeting this fellow we get back Colgan's command which can then get back den protector while simultaneously killing a creature giving me a 2-2 Left the one one back. Not that that matters. Who it does? Oh, I only have one red. No. Oh wait, can I get two red? I can. I can tutor for red. So I shoot that. I attack for seven. Oh no, I'm one short. Never lucky. In that case, I'm just gonna attack. Maybe I maybe doesn't block. Okay, he did. Give my two two. I'm gonna go get a mountain and cast both these tall guns commands, I think. Didn't even need to. Um, any sideboarding differences? Nope. We're gonna move on to game three. All right, back for game three of round two. Here, I'm kind of what's TG player. This hand is unkeepable, unfortunately. Too many, uh, too many green needs and not enough green producers. This hand is sweet though. Uh, I guess I keep a traverse. Traverse is just like keeping a land, but it contributes to delirium. Alright, well, it doesn't stop that from flipping, unfortunately. So I'm going to play Evolving Wilds here. Um, and awkwardly, I'm going to fetch up... What do I, f I guess I fetch up a uh, forest. I was going to grab a swamp, but I have so many other cards that grab lands. That's kind of a good one. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Wait, if I grab a mountain, let me see. I guess I do this. Next turn, if I don't draw a land, I can traverse for a swamp, play a hanger back walker or a death cap cultivator, and I'm fine with that. Those guy will flip. Ooh. Okay. So in that case, now that I do that, I'm gonna go. This chick's gonna flip like right away, isn't she? I think she is. I'm playing this, it gets an artifact creature in my yard, which will trigger Delirium. Um, and because I drew this, I'm almost certainly going to be casting this. I'm a little worried about this chick activating. Let's see, one damage target player, three more damage. So she can't just attack with this, that's the good news. She has to literally play two red spells with three mana, which is possible, but if she does that, at least I get the Radiant Flames for a bunch more. So I'm snap blocking here. Yeah, I think he only has one red spell, which is why he's real willing to trade the 1-1 one -one here. My goal is just to make Chandra not flip. Chandra flips, she's going to kick my butt. Because I can't deal with two damage a turn, killing my creatures. But now there's basically zero chance that Chandra flips. 
because he already wasted one of the what, activations, so he'd have to play three red spells, I guess. That's just not. And if he does that, then Radiant Flames is just going off. Ooh. Could just Radiant Flames here. I could also play Tireless Tracker and the thing. So I'm not, that's not my worst idea ever. Tyler's Tiger's not great against him, but if I get to trade for a creature and get a clue out of the deal, it's not that bad. He's already shown that Chandra's not going to flip unless he, I don't know, I'm guessing he's like going to kill my Tyler's Tracker here. Alright, track her down, and I'm going to chump block again. Oh, did he reveal? No, he did not reveal. In theory, I'm taking three more damage from this play. I think it's okay. He had to use a removal spell. If he didn't have a removal spell, I was great there. If he did have a removal spell, I'm a slightly on the back foot, but I still have the Radiant Flames. I didn't want to necessarily just Radiant Flames there, I don't know why. I guess I was just trying to get a little more value out of him. I think it was because I drew the fourth land. If I had just kept the three lands... Uh-oh, Chandra's flipping, I'm dead. Uh, I punted. Well, he's exquisite firecrafting that, at least. Oh no, you have to use the ability as the last... Oh, I'm safe. Safe, safe, safe. You have to use this ability to flip it. So the two damage would not flip it. Because she attacked last. Whew. Red, black, colorless. Kill your things. It's going to cast. Actually... Yeah, I'm going to cast this because it gives me double black without needing to take damage. I could cast the Hanger Back Walker. But it's got Death Touch. It's pretty safe. I'm at 5. I need to just get down life, life Link as quickly as possible. Alright. Not, not feeling... Ooh. I could go to 2. Or I could play this. I think I just have to play this, right? Can you attack? Yeah. Please don't get late. I'm going to be at one. Man, a second. Uh, drawing a pulse this game. I think I I think I think punted, maybe. Maybe I just took a couple extra damage that I need to. I'm, I'm judging by... Oh, I died of looming spires. I could have prevented this. with a ruinous path. In order to ruin this path, I had to not play Cletus, so though. I think that's definitely the wrong play. Man... Oh, that was a close one. That was a really close match. All right, we'll be right back for one more. These bad boys. TCGplayer.com, Collingwoods. See you in a second.